Hi, so I have with me Rishika here. Uh, Rishika is my sister's friend. My sister is Narin, and Rishika is my sister's friend. And uh, she uh, he, she has an interesting story because uh, she was a product. She started out her career as a product manager, associate product manager at a company, and then she moved into acting consciously. And I want to find out about that transition and uh, why she did that. How, how are you doing, first of all? I'm doing good. Okay. Uh, tell me, like, what were you doing before this? Like, right now you're acting, right? Before this, what what were you up to? Um. As you said, mentioned, I, I used to do, I used to be an associate product manager at an IT company. Um, before that, I did engineering. I completed uh, civil engineering and then I moved into associate product manager. And then eventually I started doing theater at the same time while I was working. Then eventually I left my job and yeah, then I continued with theater. So like, uh, tell me about that job as, as an associate product manager. Like, how did that happen? Because a civil engineer into a product manager itself is quite a transition, right? Uh, yeah, so I got to know about the opening through uh, my sister's friend. Uh, she was working in that company and it was for freshers. Uh, they needed basic engineering background for it. So it was not, it was out of campus. So I went for the interview and to my luck, I got selected. So at that time, I was like, when I was in my seventh semester, the fact that I got a job, I was really happy. Oh, this, is, this was during engineering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in my seventh semester when I went for the interview and I got my job. And Just I got to clarify, job. you studied in Pesit, right? Yeah, yeah. In Bangalore. And then you got this job as well in Bangalore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then, uh, so yeah. So at that time, there was a lot of, when you're in the seventh semester, there's a lot of pressure on you to get like a good job and everything. Even though I knew, <laughs> yeah, even though I knew that I did not want to do this, um, like in my mind, somewhere at the back of my mind, I always knew that this is not what I wanted to do. But when you're in the seventh semester, and there are people around you getting jobs and they're planning what to do next, about like they want to do higher studies. Like somehow, even though you kind of know this is not what you want to do, you feel like you're missing out on something. And uh, because of that, when I would start getting really tense, I would sit, I would sit for like tests and like all these entry, uh, all these uh, aptitude tests, and and I'm, I couldn't manage, I didn't manage to clear, I didn't manage to clear them. I was getting really tense. So when, yeah, this opening came, I went for the interview and then, yeah, I got through. But see, it sounds like you were pressured into this job, but I in was. reality, it, it is it is a big opportunity, right? You didn't see it that way? Uh, like in seventh semester, actually getting through into an kind of interesting help, job. Yeah, yeah. It did help me in a lot of ways, like a lot of ways. Uh, I was self-sufficient. I didn't have to take money from my parents for a while. Like I was self-sufficient. I managed to save enough to... Uh, leave my job right leave my well, job well, later okay, got it, got it. We'll, we'll come to that but what I'm trying to find out is that like why why were you hesitant in, f in the seventh semester itself were you like because it, it was not an approach you wanted to take like or something um, like that? I was hesitant because how do I explain it so I knew that this is not what I wanted to do uh, right then right then because you but had some inclination towards art and yeah training. I did okay. and uh, I knew this is what I wanted to do but uh, at that time it's just you know, it's, it's a little scary, like, you know, when everybody's getting a job and you aren't, um, it's a little scary, you know, you don't want to be dependent on your parents, even after yeah. college. And then, yeah, so I, at the back of my mind, what my plan was, I wanted to get a job and at the same time start doing theater so I can like support myself. That was my plan. That's how, that's how I looked at it. Not because I wanted to do that job, but because it was, it was a way to support myself to do other things. That is so interesting because like uh, you actually, it sounds like you, you actually had this uh, kind of uh, idea about where you want to go, but uh, you, you were programmed in such a way that you had to take this route. Yeah. Um, so there's this thing that, you know, I've, I've often noticed in India, we've looked down upon uh, doing jobs like waitressing and bartending and things like that. And if you go abroad, a lot of actors and actresses to support themselves, they do these jobs. The best part about these jobs are they paid, uh, they don't pay that well, but it's enough for you to sustain yourself. Plus it gives you time to do other things. Yeah. What happened in my case was my job was consuming a lot of my time and I didn't really get time to do anything else. So theater was used to happen like once or uh, once a week or like in the weekend or like you know, there were opportunities that, you know, would come my way, but I couldn't take it because I couldn't be there during a week, during a working day. So yeah, I had these uh, like these, these are certain blocks that I had to face uh, because I took an IT job. Uh, but yeah, my initial plan was this to support myself because obviously, like you know, when you're like that, that sounds like a really good plan actually uh, because obviously, 
uh, if you got a job right off, uh, out of college it sounds like uh, you are capable of you you were performing quite well ac- academically i'm assuming and on top of that uh, like you actually did some conscious decision to uh, take up some extra gigs and all that and you had these reali- realizations on the way is that right yeah but uh, yeah that's true that's how it was okay. uh, for me so i did have a plan when i was getting into it uh, but eventually it changed eventually i realized that the kind of job i'm doing will not let me and i will not let me actually pursue uh, what i want okay. because it was consuming more time than what i really wanted to do uh, plus i i noticed this thing that you know uh, to be honest it company uh, companies in bangalore make your life really comfortable okay. like they make it they make it very comfortable so comfortable that you know you're not really happy but you want to be there because it's just that's good news it's just really comfortable yeah i mean at least that's what i uh, that's what i felt and when i would start interacting with people in my company i would see like people who are like in the 30s and in their 40s and or not 40s like in the 30s and i somehow when we would start talking when i spoke to some of them it felt like this is not what they always wanted to do but somehow they happened to come here and then you know they ended up uh, you, you saw that among others as yeah, well yeah i did in fact you know what what kind of things they wanted to do you think oh uh, i can tell you this one story that this guy shared with me after i put down my papers uh he came and he asked me like he was uh, one of my team leads and uh, like one of the projects i was working on he was uh, the lead and he came and he spoke to me he's like uh, i heard that you want to leave your job and by then they knew that why i wanted to leave my job and then he asked me uh, he was like are you sure and i said yeah and then he's like have you planned it out so i said i i mean i was honest with him like i don't have a clear plan right now but i have some idea what my next step has uh, is going to be and then he said that he always wanted to be a cricketer Okay. And, uh, and I don't know. I think. Way, how, how old I think is he? he's. Late, late. I, okay, it doesn't matter. Like, yeah. So senior, like, yeah, he's much senior to me. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, for whatever reasons he couldn't do it, and he said he he told me that even now, when he goes there, when he sees a, sees a cricket ground, like you know, he just feels very bad about it. And at that point, like till then, even after putting my papers down, I was not very sure. But I realized one thing: even if. I do well or I don't do well. I don't want to live with this regret in with my life, and I'm depressed. I was actually in depression back then. Yeah. So. I just want a passion here. Like, see, like Rishika actually inspired someone who was so much like senior to her, like because of this bold step she was taking, and that 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 is inspiring. That's why I'm having this conversation with with you because you did do that, and you were actually inspiring at this moment uh, with someone you you were already associated with who was in a more senior level. Because these steps are very interesting for your career, and you actually did that. It's so interesting. Now go on with your story about uh, like what you went through and all that. Yeah. So about me inspiring him. Firstly, I'm not sure if I. If no, I did inspire ins- him, but yeah, he inspired. I mean, I wouldn't say it, but he gave me this assurance that what I'm doing right now isn't isn't wrong. Like, obviously, I was so scared when I was leaving my job. Like, it was the most. Uh, I did not think it through. Obviously, I just told my parents. I remember I had come, I had gone back to Mangalore, and I spoke to my family that you know this is not what I would want to do. And I, as I said, I was going through depression. I was really like. I would sit at home and everything was going perfectly fine in my life, but I would feel very depressed. Is this because of your work? Yeah, it was definitely because of my. I'll tell you what exactly it was. It was. See, I did. I don't even now. I'm not. I, I wasn't hundred percent sure if this is what I want to do. Okay. But I knew I wanted to give it a shot, but I, which I did not do. And the fact that I was holding myself back. I've done that all my life, like, and I've always held myself back from doing what I really wanted to do because your parents have certain expectations, your family have, like, you know, they have certain expectations from you, and it's just like, and you want to play it safe as well. And I've always been the kind of person who played it safe. Yeah. So I've never taken any like major risks, uh, risks in my life. I'm not. I, I, I mean, I never really took any risks in my life. So for me to do this, it was. I mean, even then, it was the same thing. Like, I never, I could, I always thought that if I get something solid, then I will leave my job. but i would see people how they would give up things and they would just go and do whatever they wanted to do and i'm like why don't i have the courage to do the same thing yeah and that would make me feel like the ma- many reasons why I, why i was depressed but this is one of the main reasons that you know i didn't even have the courage to do something as simple as this so yeah then last year oh no actually I, this I just year i'm pitching on that like what is also interesting here is this uh, like something that i want to take a note here is that 
you had this itching to do something else but you were stuck on this IT job and that actually caused you some depression i mean it it sucks first of all it sucks first of all but also like uh the l- lesson here is that it can be pretty bad right when you have a certain goal and uh, and you are stuck in a very consuming job in a completely different industry it, it is quite bad do you think yeah and i mean isn't that bad you it uh, is uh, and i tell you what my problem was i was getting scared that i was getting too comfortable like i felt like okay right now i'm very comfortable where i am i earn pretty decent and like my life is very comfortable and it's all sorted right now but what i was scared was that you know maybe 10 years down the line i'll be this really depressed woman who would think that you know i mean i know it's never too late to start anything but i like doing like i would call these my prime years where i can actually go and like you know take risks maybe when i'm like 10 years down the line i might not be able to take as many risks as, as i'm able to take right now is what was on my mind okay. back then i might be wrong like you can you can probably start off things at any point in your life but this you is what was, yeah but this is what is this was what was on my but mind fair, and i felt like fair. it was too if, if i stayed here long enough right then i will get i will never come out of it yeah. and as i said like there were so many people that i saw who probably never planned to be where they were but they they somehow ended up there and planned to be there only for a while and then they just got stuck there because you know as you said there are certain family commitments or like they people don't want to take risks so like there's so many reasons and i did not want to be trapped over there i did i just did not want to be trapped in was, a job was it difficult for you like or was it like very intense in terms of the depression if if you mind sharing it was pretty intense like i've experienced depression to be honest in various stages in my life uh this wasn't that bad here the thing is uh, i it was actually my fault my parents have always been very liberal with me i just couldn't get myself to it was always this pressure to prove myself to my parents even though they never did not put this pressure on me it was something that was always okay. there was always with them it was always there so uh there are so many like little factors like that that bother us throughout our life like <laughs> yeah mean, these kind of dependencies that we have that we don't know about yeah. yeah and we don't want to be dependent on our parents yeah. like you know Uh, so what i did was my sister would call me all the time and i would talk to my parents once in a week whereas my sister would talk to me every day and she somebody always sensed when i was not very happy and she would keep asking me what happened what happened and then one day i told her and then uh, like i started crying and i told her like you know so and so things and i'm like i'm not happy and all that my sister freaked out and then she called up my mom and uh, then my mom called me up and she's like what's happening and things like that and then I, she was planning this was to come. when you were working as a this product is, yeah. manager and then uh, my mom was like okay i'll come uh, then i was like oh my god i don't want to discuss with do you uh, I, i don't want to discuss about this uh, on the phone so like she was like okay when i come down next month then like we can discuss this so yeah, she came next month and then the thing is at that point my 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 mom was really scared that i was like I was like really sad. I was really depressed. Like she sort of knew okay. what it was, but okay. yeah. So the minute I told her I want to leave my job and so and so things, she was like, "Yeah, if you're not happy, just leave it." She was just wanted me to be like happy. Okay. So yeah, that was quite. Okay, that is awesome. Now we'll talk about your current. Uh, what yeah. are you doing currently? Right? How how long have you been uh, doing? Uh, like you're pursuing acting, right? You're training yourself. Currently. I train. I I I, under, I underwent a course a couple of months ago. Like. Yeah. What's that course called? It's called Actor Studio, um, uh, in association with Vyoma Art Space Theatre. What was your goal, by the way? Like, to be clear about that. It's not the final goal is not set set yet. Okay. Right now, every my everyday goal is to be as better. Like, I'm really loving what I I, I really mean, love what I do right now. Okay. And is to get better. But if you're talking which is, about which is in acting. Right? In acting, yeah, and I want to be an actor. That is my ultimate goal. Where exactly? What exactly? It's not. Uh, I mean, I feel like you set new goals for yourself every day. Is is what I feel. Is it because of your like admiration for the work, for the craft, or is it something like you aspire to be as a person? See, it started um, as an aspiration to be an actor, okay. not any person. But then you started appreciating the craft, is it? N- yeah, and okay. the theater did that for me. I, I mean, acting is not as easy as how it looks. Okay. It is there's so much that goes into it, and. Well, it's only I learned about it only after I got into it, and it's just every time when I'm doing this, when I'm when I'm acting and when I'm rehearsing, and the whole character development that goes into like you know playing my part in a play or in whatever I'm doing, it's just it brings me so much happiness. Also, probably because I feel very liberated right now because I'm finally doing what I want to do, and 
there's so much to do you know it's just for the first time in my life i feel like i'm doing something because i want to do it not because it's expected of me okay so yeah that makes me feel really nice and this as an art form is just it's the most amazing thing it's the most liberating thing like if you want to cry you can just like, you can bring in so many emotions and it's just it's very liberating it's really nice it's extremely interesting and i i, I see that passion in you uh, right now as you say this finally like any advice you would have to yourself like 3 years ago 2 years ago um to believe in myself i i feel like i was always uh, i always doubted myself okay there was something that um um i had very low i mean as a child i had very low self esteem as i grew older it became better but i had always had this speck of doubt and now i feel like now have how i become as if i feel like i'm not good at something i have my my thinking has changed to such an extent that if i feel like i'm not good at something i'm like oh i have to do this if this is something that is tough for me i have to do it fantastic that's i think that because of what i how i was before it's kind of made i mean it's kind of made me look at things a different way right now so yeah that is great and I, and that is such an important trait like based on my own uh, you know uh, uh, life and uh, the things i read like believe in yourself is super important like to get you where you are like awesome man thank you and uh, it is uh, really uh, cool to speak to you thank you like